My name is Father Andrew Chemiek. I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of Westminster, currently serving at the Catholic National Shrine and Basilica of Our Lady at Walsingham in Norfolk, England. Deep within them I will plant my law, writing it on their hearts. Then I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Something of God's laws are planted deep within the human heart. To use a dramatic example, we know it is wrong to kill another person. We can't always explain why. I just know it's wrong, someone might say. This is what is referred to in our Catholic tradition as natural law, something that is intrinsic to our human nature. Other examples would include lying or stealing. These are generally recognised in all cultures as being wrong even from people who may not have any religious understanding. We will come back to the area of growth later on. Let us now consider the second reading and the theme of sacrifice. During his life on earth, Christ offered up prayer and entreaty aloud and in silent tears to the one who had the power to save him out of death. And he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard Although he was son, he learnt to obey through suffering. But having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the source of eternal salvation. Christ offered up. The Greek term is closely linked with priestly sacrifices, as in the book of Hebrews. Jesus is the priest. A priest is someone who offers up sacrifices and intercedes for the people. Jesus offers up his life and intercedes and prays for us. And this is what happens at every Mass. The sacrifice of Calvary is once again made present through the words and actions of the priest who is in persona Christi at the Mass. Jesus gives himself completely to us as food under the appearances of bread and wine. We might say, a sacred banquet. It is worth noting that even from the cross Jesus says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing, and offers words of reassurance to the repentant thief. Today you will be with me in paradise. He also offers his mother to us through John the beloved disciple. What extraordinary words from a dying man but we already know, as the centurion says, truly this was the Son of God. So, sacrifice also involves the taking away of sins. In ancient times, there was a goat which was sent out into the wilderness with people's sins, hence the term scapegoat. The lambs were also sacrificed at Passover. Jesus is the new lamb. Jesus' prayers are particularly powerful. It says in the Gospel, His prayer was heard. The Father heeded the prayers of the Son, not by sparing him the experience of death, but by rescuing him from death in the resurrection. So, godly fear, the reverential fear of God that proved stronger in Jesus than his human fear of death, his reverence, was manifested as heroic obedience to the will of the Father. There is something here about trying to do God's will in our own lives. It is not always easy to know what God's will is, and a key word is discernment. Discerning good from evil, right from wrong, as exemplified in the spiritual exercises of St Ignatius of Loyola. One Franciscan said to me when I was discerning something important, if you see a green light, go through it. There didn't appear to be anything blocking that particular decision, so I did go through that green light. There is a phrase here, obey through suffering. The Ignatius Catholic Study Bible has this to say about it. He learned obedience, not by trial and error, 
but from the experience of passing through the human trials and ordeals that test our commitment to God. Christ, being eternally divine, possessed the fullness of knowledge from the first instant of his conception as a man. He was ignorant of nothing, so he could not learn anything new by simple recognition. But there is also knowledge acquired by experience, and in this sense he learned obedience through what he suffered. Having accepted our weakness, he learned how difficult it is to obey, for he obeyed in the most difficult of circumstances, even unto death on a cross. Obedience is not something that is much talked about these days, and yet it is so important. The armed forces rely on it. It would be highly unusual for a soldier to question orders from their general, for example. Priests and religious take promises and vows of obedience. Religious promise obedience to their superiors and diocesan clergy to their ordinary or bishop. The three traditional vows of poverty, chastity and obedience are taken by most orders and congregations. Diocesan priests are exempt from the vow of poverty, but nonetheless they are encouraged to try and live a simple and modest life. Jesus offered up prayers for us all. The best gift we can give another person is our prayer. How many times people have asked me, Father, can you pray for this person or this intention? I try and remember to pray for people in the Mass. I do also ask people to pray for me. We priests need your prayers too, you know. Praying for other people is not necessarily easy. There may be many distractions, as there often can be in prayer. And yet, intercession is an important aspect of the Christian life. We have bidding prayers at Mass on Sundays and solemnities. The divine office of the Church includes prayers of intercession both at morning and evening prayer. And the power of prayer can be seen in the lives of the saints. Think of the tears St Monica shed for her son, St Augustine and what a conversion he had, or the intercessory prayers of Saint Therese. She prayed for a, a notorious murderer in France who was unrepentant until just before his execution when he asked to kiss the crucifix. This was reported in the papers and Saint Therese read about it and was delighted that her prayers for his conversion had worked. She is also known to answer prayers by showering roses from heaven. Padre Pio is also very popular to pray to and many of the saints have granted requests to prayer. We will now take a short break. Please join us again in a few minutes as we continue our Lenten reflection. Welcome back to our Lenten Reflection for the fifth Sunday of Lent. In the Gospel we read about death and decay, but there is also a theme here of patient or expectant waiting, which leads to growth, a new springtime. Cardinal Newman referred to this in the phrase, the second spring, about the revival of Catholic faith in England during the 19th century. I tell you most solemnly, Unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Something that is apparent at this time of year is everything springing to life. Spring has sprung, so the saying goes, but only a few months ago, in winter, everything was dead, except, of course, the evergreens. Those bulbs appear to be doing nothing for months in the ground, but now they are beautiful crocuses, daffodils, tulips. Something was going on even underground in a hidden way, and that is what is often like in the spiritual life. Nothing dramatic may appear to be happening, but a lot in fact is happening, unbeknown to us. A grain of wheat falling to the earth and dying looks though it has come to the end of its life cycle, but in fact, 
If it dies, if it turns into seed in the earth, it may yield a rich harvest. So it will be with Jesus, with no may about it. From his death will flow the salvation of the world. That's a quote from Father Aidan Nichols. As a planted seed must decay before it sprouts new life, so Jesus must endure death to bring us eternal life. This principle also holds true for disciples, who must die to themselves to receive the fullness of life from God and be channels of life to others. That's a quote from the Ignatius Catholic Study Bible. It is not easy to die to self. People do not like change, particularly when it is difficult or when faced with some tragedy or unexpected crisis. I have witnessed this time and time again as a priest. It could be the shock of the sudden death of a loved one, the diagnosis of a cancer, a serious accident, the breakup of a relationship, and so on. Also, from my pastoral experience, people are not always appreciative of hearing home truths, but this is necessary for growth. Each of us has a blind side, and often that takes another person to point it out which is not always pleasant, even embarrassing at times. And growth in the spiritual life can only happen through humility, and yes, even being humiliated in some way. This leads to a growth in self-knowledge and self-understanding. The sacrament of reconciliation or confession is extremely helpful in this regard. I've experienced this firsthand myself. It's a bit like a regular spiritual checkup, or a spring clean, or even a deep clean. By regularly receiving this sacrament, a person can grow in self-knowledge and understanding and virtue. Why? Because of the grace of this sacrament. An example now of Conkers. Tom Wright, the biblical scholar, recounts his childhood interest in Conkers and having Conker fights. Eventually he decided to plant a shiny Conker in the ground. He says, Jesus' death will be like sowing a seed into the ground. It will look like a tragedy, the large-scale, fully grown version of the tiny tragedy that a small boy feels at planting one of his largest and best conquers in the ground and never seeing it again. In fact, it will be a triumph, the triumph of God's self-giving love, the love that looks death itself in the face and defeats it by meeting it voluntarily, on behalf not just of Israel, but of the whole world, the world represented by these Greeks. The picture of being planted, as we know from Romans chapter 6, was a picture that other early Christians used to explain the meaning of dying with Christ in baptism in faith. Jesus says, if a man serves me, he must follow me. Wherever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honour him. Jesus says, And when I am lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all men to myself. By these words he indicated the kind of death he would die. Chapter 12, verse 32. When I am lifted up, refers primarily to the crucifixion of Christ, as indicated in the next verse, but also hints at his resurrection and ascension. The expression recalls the opening line of Isaiah's fourth servant song, which runs from Isaiah 52.13 to 53.12. The whole song is a prophetic depiction of the suffering of the Messiah, who will be exalted and lifted up in the sight of the nations but only after he is cast down by his own people. Isaiah interprets the humiliation and death of his servant as a redemptive sacrifice for sin, draw all men to myself, points to the worldwide acceptance of the gospel. As Isaiah envisioned, the Davidic Messiah as an ensign posted for the ingathering of the nations and the outcasts of Israel. Jesus sees the world gathering around the sign of the cross. That's a quote from the Catechism. 
Gospel spreads beyond the confines of Israel. As one commentator says, these Greeks approach Philip because seemingly this apostle, who has a Greek name, must have understood Greek and been able to act as interpreter. If that was the case, then this is a very important moment because it means the people of a non-Jewish culture came in search of Christ, which would make the first fruits of the spread of the Christian faith in the Hellenistic world. That's a quote from a Navari commentary. He will draw all men to himself. His message, gospel, is for all peoples. So we have looked at the themes of growth, obedience, prayer, death, decay and growth again. And Jesus Christ's message being available for all peoples through the sign of his cross. Thank you for joining us. Please join us again next week as we continue our Lenten reflections. I wish you every grace and blessing in this final week of Lent as we prepare for Palm Sunday this coming Sunday and Holy Week and the Triduum afterwards.
we will now say the rosary and as part of our Lenten Friday devotions this morning we will be reciting the rosary of the seven sorrows of Our Lady. The sorrowful mysteries of the rosary will be recited this afternoon as part of our afternoon devotions. For those who are less familiar with the Rosary of the Seven Sorrows, sometimes known as the Dolor Rosary. It consists of seven mysteries, and each mystery comprises one Our Father and seven Hail Marys. There's no glory be or Fatima prayer. The Rosary is concluded with three Hail Marys in remembrance of the tears Mary shed for her son's suffering, and to pray for true sorrow and a desire to model our lives on the example of Our Lady. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our opening prayer. My God, I offer you this rosary for your glory, so I can honour your Holy Mother, the Blessed Virgin, so I can share and meditate upon her suffering, just as Mary accepted the total mystery of Christ into her life, so may we see in our sorrow, our fear and humiliation, a dim but real participation in his passion and death, recalling that if we wish to follow him, we must take up our cross each day. I humbly beg you to give me true repentance for all my sins. Give me wisdom and humility so that I may receive all the indulgences contained in this prayer. And now our act of contrition. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. The first sorrow of Our Lady, the prophecy of Simeon. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, You see this child, he is destined for the fall and for the rising of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is rejected and a sword will pierce your own soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The second sorrow of Our Lady, the flight into Egypt. The angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother with you, and escape into Egypt, and stay there until I tell you because Herod intends to search for the child and do away with him. So Joseph got up, and taking the child and his mother with him, left that night for Egypt, where he stayed until Herod was dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The third sorrow of Our Lady, the child Jesus is lost in the temple. They were overcome when they saw him, and his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. Why were you looking for me? Jesus replied. Did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fourth sorrow of Our Lady. Our Lady meets Jesus carrying the cross. Large numbers of people followed him, and of women too, who mourned and lamented for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep rather for yourselves and for your children. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fifth sorrow of Our Lady. Our Lady stands at the foot of the cross. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Sixth Sorrow of Our Lady Our Lady receives the body of Jesus. Truly, I have set my soul in silence and peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The seventh sorrow of Our Lady. Our Lady witnesses the burial of Jesus. So Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean shroud, and put it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a large stone across the entrance of the tomb and went away. Now Mary of Magdala and the other Mary was there, sitting opposite the sepulchre. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
and we now say three Hail Marys in honor of the tears of our sorrowful mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we say, One our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory be, for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for us, most sorrowful Virgin, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Lord Jesus, we now implore, both for the present and for the hour of our death, the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, your mother, whose holy soul was pierced at the time of your passion by a sword of grief. Grant us this favour, O Saviour of the world, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit for ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, Saint Joseph. Welcome to the National Shrine and Basilica of Ali Walsingham, um, England's Nazareth. Welcome to this Mass on this uh, fifth week of Lent, Friday the fifth week of Lent. And also welcome to you, those of you watching online and listening uh, via radio. We bring all our intentions to the Mother of God in this Mass today. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who in this season Give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the Passion of Christ. Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son, who came at the last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. 
All those who used to be my friends watched for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. In my anguish I called to the Lord and he heard my voice. In my anguish I called to the Lord and he heard my voice. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. The waves of death rose about me. The torrents of destruction assailed me. The snares of the grave entangled me. The traps of death confronted me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my anguish I called to the Lord, I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice, my cry came to his ears. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Repent, says the Lord, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Praise to you. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews fetched stones to stone him, so Jesus said to them, I have done many good works for you to see, works from my Father. For which of these are you stoning me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for doing a good work, but for blasphemy. You are only a man, and you claim to be God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? So the law used the word gods of those to whom the word of God was addressed, and scripture cannot be rejected. Yet you say to someone the Father has consecrated and sent into the world, You are blaspheming, because he says, I am the Son of God. If I am not doing my Father's work, there is no need to believe me. But if I am doing it, then even if you refuse to believe in me, at least believe in the work I do. Then you will know for sure that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. They wanted to arrest him then, but he eluded them. He went back again to the far side of the Jordan to stay in the district where John had once been baptising. Many people who came to him there said, John gave no signs, but all he said about this man was true, and many of them believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. Many of them believed in him, you and I, are, I think, counted in that number. 
And it is not easy being a follower of the Lord, Jesus. Even before Jesus was born, uh, we see how difficult it was for Jeremiah to follow God's instructions. There he was amongst his own people being misunderstood and rejected. Just listen to those words again. I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watched for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our refuge. So not easy being a prophet. And Jeremiah was denouncing those people because they didn't trust in God and so they therefore made matters worse for themselves. Yes, Jeremiah is obviously having a very bad day when he writes this uh, and complains to God about how bad things are. But the really important thing is that he puts his trust and his faith in God and is ultimately obedient to what God asks him to do. Those words from the psalm, um, very beautiful, just that refrain, uh, in my anguish I called to the Lord and he heard my voice. Whatever, whatever anguish you and I may be in, if we call to the Lord, he will hear our voice and will respond to our prayers. The gospel then. The Jews fetched stones to stone him, so Jesus said to them, I've done many good works for you to see, works from my father. For which of these are you stoning me? The Jews answered him, we are not stoning you for doing a good work, but for blasphemy. You're only a man and yet you claim to be God. Well, good works are one thing. Most people can accept those from any walk of life. Oh, he, seems, he or she, she seems a good person. They're always doing good for other people. But then sometimes if they're pressed a bit more fully, well, why do you do these things? Because of my faith. Ah, you're one of those religious people, are you? I see. <laughs> So these people there wanted to arrest Jesus, but because his hour had not come, yet come, he eluded them. And you might recall that other scene in the Gospels when after, just after Jesus has said those words in the synagogue, um, that the, so that they basically try, after he said those words in the synagogue, they initially praise him for what he's done, and then he says, a prophet is not welcome in his own town. And then they try to throw him off the brow of the hill. And yet again, surprisingly, he manages to elude them. It says he slips through the crowd. And this shows again the Lord's complete command and his mastery of the situation. These things are happening for specific reasons and they're being permitted, but only in the way that God wants them to happen. So it says that he then went back again to the far side of the Jordan to stay in the district where John had once been baptizing. Many people who came to him there said, John gave no signs, but all he said about this man was true, and many of them believed in him. Works done in the Lord's name are never useless. That phrase, believe his works. Again, the Ignatius Study Bible says this, the miracles of Jesus are meant to authenticate his mission in the eyes of Israel and to corroborate his claims to divinity. The Jews knew that only God, who has absolute power over creation, can suspend the laws of nature in a miraculous way. So what can you and I learn from these passages of scripture today? Well, first of all, Jeremiah's trust in God no matter how difficult things were for him, and in spite of being uh, rejected by his own people, he nonetheless continued to do what the Lord had told him to do. And Jesus continues to do his good works in spite of the opposition from the authorities and the religious leaders of his time. He is confident about his mission. So keep trusting in God and doing those good works that the Lord has called you to do in your own lives, all for his glory. And let us ask the prayers of Our Lady, who of course trusted completely in God. Just to remind you of the opening prayer, which you all agreed with by saying amen to, 
I'll just read that to you again because it's very profound. And this is the beauty of the season of Lent that each day has its own particular prayers uh, and, and, and indeed readings, but each of the days has its own specific prayers, this opening prayer, closing prayer, communion antiphon and so on. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the Passion of Christ, grant we pray that through her intercession that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son and come at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, for you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A note about communion. If you're not Catholic or cannot receive communion for any other reason, you're welcome to come forward for a blessing if you cross your arms over your chest like so. I'll give you a blessing. If you're receiving communion on the tongue, please open your mouth widely so I can place the sacred host onto your tongue. If you're receiving communion in the hand, uh, please consume the sacred host in front of me before you return to your seat. Thank you. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross, so that the dead to sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. And may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Thank you for coming to Mass here today in Walsingham. Um, just a reminder of our afternoon program today, which is slightly different. Uh, at 2pm we have exposition of the Blessed Sacrament in this chapel, and then at 2.45, 2.45 we have benediction. And the reason for that is that we have Stations of the Cross at 3pm. And after the Stations of the Cross we'll then have the Divine Mercy Chaplet uh, followed by Rosary. So, um, so yes, you're very welcome to join us for some or part of that. And do remember to visit the Slipper Chapel and put your petitions uh, in the petitions box at the feet of Our Lady um, before you go. Wishing you a blessed pilgrimage today and a safe home as well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
prayer. As part of the year of prayer and preparation for the Jubilee year of 2025, we will now say the Jubilee prayer. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother, and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth. When with the powers of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven, and may that same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen.
Sacramento, mira veni passionis tu in morum reliquisti, trebimu quesimus, ita nos copris it sanguinis tua sacra misteria venerari, ut remsiones tuae fructum, in nobis judita sensiamus, qui vives et renias in secula seculorum. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. 
Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Stations of the Cross. These Stations of the Cross we're using today are words taken from the writings of St. Paul, originally written by Father Clement Parsons and updated by Donal Anthony Foley. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Though they found nothing to justify his execution, they condemned him and asked Pilate to have him put to death. And so Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Since God did not spare his own son, but gave him up to benefit us all, we may be certain after such a gift that he will not refuse anything he can give. Christ loved the church and sacrificed himself for her. The life I now live in this body, I live in faith. Faith in the Son of God who loved me and who sacrificed himself for my sake. Prayer 
I put to you my soul, the duty before God, the source of all life and before Christ, who spoke up as a witness for the truth in front of Pontius Pilate, that you who live may be consigned to death every day for the sake of Jesus, so that in your mortal flesh the life of Jesus too may be openly shown, because those who are in Christ Jesus are not condemned. Lord Jesus Christ crucified, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. The second station, Jesus is made to bear his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us not lose sight of Jesus, who leads us in our faith and brings it to perfection. For the sake of the joy which was still in the future, he endured the cross, disregarding the shamefulness of it, from now on he has taken his place at the right of God's throne. Think of the way he stood each think of the way he stood such opposition from sinners, and then you will not give up for want of courage. In the fight against sin, you have not yet had to keep fighting to the point of death. As for me, the only thing I can boast about is the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom the world is crucified to me and I to the world. Grant me to be guided by the Spirit, so that I will be in no danger of yielding to self-indulgence, and so become an enemy of the cross of Christ, but worthy rather to suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The third station, Jesus falls beneath his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We see in Jesus one who was for a short while made lower than the angels, and is now crowned with glory and splendour because he submitted to death. By God's grace, he had to experience death for all mankind. During his life on earth, he offered up prayer and entreaty, aloud and in silent tears, to the one who had the power to save him out of death. And he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard. Although he was son, he learnt to obey through suffering. But having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the source of eternal salvation. O oh Jesus, you can sympathise with those who are ignorant or uncertain because you too lived in the limitations of weakness. O oh, Son of God, you are the supreme high priest who has gone through to the highest heaven we must never let go of the faith that we have professed, for it is not as if we had a high priest who was incapable of feeling our weaknesses with us, but we have one who has been tempted in every way that we are, though he is without sin. Let us be confident then in approaching the throne of grace that we shall have mercy from him and find grace when we are in need of help. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject of the law, to redeem the subjects of the law, and to enable us to be adopted as sons. Our Lady, our Mother, 
If we are children of God and your children, we are heirs as well, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his sufferings so as to share his glory. For what we suffer in this life can never be compared to the glory as yet unrevealed which is waiting for us. Indeed, as the sufferings of Christ overflow to us, so through Christ does our consolation overflow. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ created one single new man in himself, and by restoring peace through the cross, reconciled us with God. In his own person he killed the hostility. Later he came to bring the good news of peace, peace to you who are far away, and peace to those who are near at hand, including Simon of Cyrene, father of Alexander and Rufus, cho chosen servants of the Lord. You should carry each other's troubles and fulfill the law of Christ, for he has given you the privilege not only of believing in Christ, but of suffering for him as well. And our hope for you is confident, since we know that, sharing our sufferings, you will also share our consolations. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Amen. Have mercy upon us. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In him we gain our freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the unseen God and the firstborn of all creation. And we, with our unveiled, face, with our unveiled faces, reflecting like mirrors the brightness of the Lord, all grow brighter and brighter as we are turned into the image that we reflect. This is the work of the Lord, who is spirit, who has shone in our minds to radiate the light of the knowledge of God's glory, the glory on the face of Christ. If our life in Christ means anything to you, if love can persuade at all, or the spirit that we have in common, or any tenderness and sympathy, then strive to become true images of his son, so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers. Then we can offer others in their sorrows the consolation that we have received from God ourselves. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For our sake, God made the sinless one into sin, so that in him we might become the goodness of God. Yes, he was crucified through weakness, yet lives now through the power of God. So then, we are weak as he was, but we shall live with him through the power of God. So I shall be very happy to make my weaknesses my special boast, so that the power of Christ may stay over me. The man who thinks he is safe must be careful that he does not fall. So I will not boast about anything of my own except my weaknesses. And that is why I am quite content with my weaknesses and with insults, hardships, persecutions, and the agonies I go through for Christ's sake. For it is when I'm weak that, that I'm strong. 
then the power of Christ will stay over me, since there is nothing I cannot master with the help of the one who gives me strength, sharing his sufferings so as to share his glory. What we suffer in this life can never be compared to the glory as yet unrevealed which is waiting for us. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. One section of Israel has become blind, but this will last only until the whole pagan world has entered and then after the rest of Israel be saved as well. Since their rejection meant the reconciliation of the world, do you know what their admission will mean? Nothing less than a resurrection from the dead. Think of the extent to which the world, the pagan world, has benefited from their fall and defection, and think how much more it will benefit from the conversion of them all. Is it possible that God has rejected his people? Of course not. There is a remnant chosen by grace, and then the rest of Israel will be saved as well. Our scripture says, the liberator will come from Zion. He will banish godlessness from Jacob. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, too, suffered outside the gate to sanctify the people with his own blood. Let us go to him then, outside the camp, and share his degradation. To me, Lord, as to your Apostle Paul, you exclaim, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. There are many who are behaving as the enemies of the cross of Christ. They are destined to be lost. They make foods into their God, and they are proudest of something they ought to think shameful. The things they think important are earthly things. They are persecutors of the church. I believe nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. And all I want is to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and to share his sufferings by reproducing the pattern of his death. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ has loved us, giving himself up in our place as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Therefore, let us worship him, I beg you, in a way that is worthy of thinking beings, by offering our living bodies as a holy sacrifice truly pleasing to God. Let us not lose sight of Jesus, who leads us in our faith and brings it to perfection. For the sake of the joy which was still in the future, he endured the cross. Therefore, wherever we may be, let us carry in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus too may always be seen in our body. Remember how generous the Lord Jesus was. He was rich, but he came poor for your sake, to make you rich out of his poverty. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. He was crucified through weakness, and still he lives now through the power of God. So then, we who are, we are weak as he was, but we shall live with him through the power of God. For he has overridden the law and cancelled every record of the debt that we had to pay. He has done away with it by nailing it to the cross. May I be crucified with Christ, suffering in my own body to do what I can to make up all that is still to be undergone by Christ for the sake of his body, the Church. May the marks on my body be those of Jesus. You cannot belong to Christ Jesus unless you crucify all self-indulgent passions and desires. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. But what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely that he would now fail to save us from God's anger? When we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, we were still enemies. Now that we have been reconciled, surely we may count as on being saved by the life of his son. Christ redeemed us from the, from the curse of the law by being cursed for our sake, since scripture says, Cursed be everyone who is hanged on a tree. The only knowledge I claim to have was about Jesus, and only about him as the crucified Christ, who loved me and who sacrificed himself for my sake, when he made peace by his death on the cross. Both Jew and pagan sinned and forfeited God's glory, and both are justified through the free gift of his grace by being redeemed in Christ Jesus, who was appointed by God to sacrifice his life so as to win reconciliation through faith. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they had carried out everything that scripture foretells about him, they took him down from the tree and buried him in a tomb. May I die with Christ to the principles of this world, reconciled by his death and in that mortal body, able to appear before him holy, pure and blameless. If we have died with him, then we shall live with him, if we hold firm, then we shall reign with him. The reason he died for all was so that living men should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised to life for them. Lord Jesus Christ crucified. Have mercy upon us. The 
fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They buried him in a tomb. When we were baptised in Christ Jesus, we were baptised in his death. In other words, when we were baptised, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. And now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. O Lord Jesus, we believe that having died with you, we shall return to life with you. I am caught in this dilemma. I want to be gone and be with you, which would be very much the better. I live now not with my own life, but with the life of Christ who lives in me. The life I now live in this body, I live in faith. Faith in the Son of God who loved me and who sacrificed himself for my sake. Nothing, therefore, can come between us and the love of Christ, who not only died for us, he rose from the dead, and there at God's right hand he stands and pleads for us. For I am certain of this, neither death nor life, no angel, no prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, nor any created thing can ever come between us and the love of God made visible. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified. Have mercy upon us. now say in our Father, Hail Mary, and glory be for our Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Now say the Divine Mercy Chaplet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. A fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have, have mercy, mercy on us, us and on the whole world. world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, if your mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. All you angels and saints, pray for us. We will now recite the sorrowful mysteries of the Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. We say one our Father, three Hail Marys, and a glory be for an increase in the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. In his anguish, he prayed with all the greater intensity, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Pilate released Barabbas to them. Jesus, however, he first had scourged, then he handed him over to be crucified. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they fixed it on his head. Then they began to mock him, saying, All hail, King of the Jews. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, Jesus carries his cross. In the end, Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus was led away, and carrying his cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. There they crucified him. Jesus said, it is finished. He bowed his head and delivered over his spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee.
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this vale of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, begotten Son by his life, life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon, upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary, rosary of the Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what, what they promise through the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. We now say one our Father, one Hail Mary, and one glory be to the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of all sinners, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.